Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play HBO Boxing. In the last episode, we avenged our defeat. And we also have now three heavyweight championships. We just need one more now, and we will be the undisputed. Undef well, not really undefeated because we lost one. But apart from that, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. We first have to go up against a guy that we're probably going to beat. And then, then the game's going to get difficult because um, Ken Norton... Yeah, he's nothing in comparison to the rest of the people who we are going up against. They are dangerous. This is going to be our last easy match, I think. Hopefully that's not the case, but it probably will be. Anyway, so, we're getting to the end of the Let's Play. This, is, this video is either going to be the last, uh, the last Let's Play video uh, or it's going to be the second to last I don't know we'll see anyway Ed Eddington 26 wins one loss 26 knockouts for the big man yeah look at me and his opponent there he is Ernie Shavers 73 victories that's a lot of wins 675 health and he went straight in and tried to go for a shot there. Blocked by Eddington, who is straight away gone for the kill early. The punches. He's already got Shavers in a corner. Shavers is already nervous, which I'm not surprised about. I would if I was going up against Ed Eddington. But luckily, I'm his manager, so I don't have to be. Shavers has locked Eddington with a, with a wussy clinch. Which I will never do in my Our life when it comes to playing this game. Because there's no point. That's for Fight Night, not this game. Because it actually has a purpose in Fight Night. There. Not in this game. Anyway, it's time to get cocky. Boom. And little love tap punch there. Shavers probably on the verge of quitting here. Eddington on the verge of... Yeah, now he's definitely on the verge of quitting. Eddington on the verge of getting his invincibility. Which is lovely and brilliant. And the referee has stopped the fight right there 57 seconds into round one by technical knockout ed eddington the winner the best and now it's time for tv ko pay-per-view the biggest and the toughest of all the stages is coming up now tv ko is going to be nasty very tough we're going to be going up against the greatest heavyweight fighters in the world here Including that guy there. We're going up against George Foreman. We're going up against Rocky Marciano. We're going up against uh, a bunch of others. Joe Lewis. You know, we're going up against a bunch of them. Anyway, Derek Goda. We've unlocked Derek Goda. Yay. I remember him. I beat that guy. Why am I unlocking a guy that I just beat? Well, that I beat a few hours ago very easily. All right. So, here we are. The final table. George Foreman. Jack Dempsey, Archie Moore, Larry Holmes, Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano. That is the list. And we can't go against George Ford. We can go against Jack Dempsey, though. So we will be taking on Jack Dempsey. We are now up to over 900 knockout. Next to go up is going to be cut self because I cannot afford to have that as low as it is. I cannot afford for it to be low. Not at this stage of the game. No, 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 no. That can't happen. So that is knockout all the way up to full. That's up to 9.99. I'm going to spend the next 15 days. Yeah, that's a lot of time, by the way. Increasing cut self to at least a sizable amount. So yeah, I believe it's now 20 days between battles now, I think. So... That's a long time to obviously improve your fighter. Because um, obviously this is not, you're not a world championship boxer anymore. You are on pay-per-view. These are, these are the biggest matches now. So they're going to give you a lot of time. But it's obviously about if you can keep your points. If your points stay, then that's fair enough. If they don't, you've got a problem. Uh, because then you'll be having a boxer with no points to spend, no points to train up. And he'll be pretty much screwed. You know, you need to have the points to improve your fire. And that's why, when it comes to my management, it's been very, very bare-boned. 
you know, basic, especially when it comes to the training. While my management, while the actual manager is good because it generates money, this is the manager, so that's useful. So, just increasing cut self. So, originally cut self was about 50 odd, it's now up to 371 for the battle against Jack Dempsey. This is gonna be a bat, this is gonna be a war between me and Jack Dempsey. This is gonna be a tough match. But this is the first of probably six battles in our final list of opponents. And these are the greatest boxers in the heavyweight division from past, present. This is going to be tough. Specifically past, because his game was made in 2000. But Rocky Marciano was not alive in 2000. He died decades ago. So... Hello, yeah. I'm Lampley, along with my colleague Larry Merchant, and we're here to bring you tonight's... Welcome to Caesar's Palace. I believe that's Las Vegas. Ed Eddington, his debut here at Caesar's Palace, 27 victories, one loss, 27 wins by knockout. His opponent, the very well-renowned Jack Dempsey. Dempsey, 60 wins, 6 losses, 50 by way of knockout. Here is the match. Dempsey, 900 when it comes to health. Eddington starting off good here against Dempsey. A beauty of a jab. It's Ed Eddington here. He is in the big leagues now. He is in the big leagues. He needs to win these. He can't lose them, really. You know, he needs to show them what Ed Eddington is worth. What Ed Eddington is about. And he's about pain. And Jack Dempsey... Judging the look of him, I'm guessing he was a boxer. I think he was a boxer from like a long time ago. I mean, sort of like maybe early 1900s, possibly. Anyway, and Dempsey just getting his ass handed to him at the moment by Ed Eddington. And he keeps glitching through the ropes. Bad programming. I've already said that. This game was not very well made. And now Eddington with his invincibility. Swollen nose for Dempsey. And a gushing nose now. The first punch, swollen the nose. The second punch, smacks straight into Dempsey's face. And now he has a gushing nose. Will he be able to survive the round? Big punch from Dempsey. That's got him back in the game. But his nose is gushing blood. Gushing blood of Dempsey's nose. That is going to hurt in time if he survives the first round. Eddington has been nothing but dominant ever since his defeat to Ken Norton. And the referee has stopped the fight, stopping it in round one. The gushing nose, obviously the beneficial factor here, the decisive factor. 103 punches thrown, and Ed Eddington has beaten Jack Dempsey. Make that five to go. I am ticking them off the hit list. That's the Ed Eddington hit list. Dempsey is out. My next objective is probably going to be George Foreman, to be honest. And that's going to be a tough match. If we go up against George Foreman. Ooh, we do. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be a tough match. Foreman is as tough as old boots. Even his grill. Um, yeah, but George Foreman is a slugger. Same as us, so... We're both going to be hitting hard. We're both going to be hitting a lot. Not much defense. Foreman is six foot four and very heavy. He's got a lot of weight behind his punches. He's going to be a dangerous opponent to take on. Hopefully we can beat him. The only thing is, with this game, they made George Foreman look like an idiot in this game. No, I don't mean like they made him do something that's stupid. No, his actual genuine look, he looks like an idiot. Trust me, George Foreman is not white! And okay, maybe they will make him white in this game, but then there's a difference between white and then very weird sort of albino black. It, 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 it's very difficult to try and... Uh, uh, it's, try and it's difficult to try and explain. I'll just show you when we fight George Foreman. But yeah, I played this game first time I knew what George Foreman looked like. Um, and I played this game and I thought, that's not even a good likeness to George Foreman. Come on. Anyway, our cut self has go has gone up to about 7, probably 750. 
Oh no, we still got days left. Okay. Might be able to go up to 800 with two good goes. That's not a good go. The second one might be a good enough go to make it 800. Nope. 798 will have to do for the battle against George Foreman. Current rank number seven. We are rank number six. A win for us will put us above Jack Dempsey into number five. We are battling George Foreman. A veteran boxer for many years. I think over 20 years boxer. Which not many boxers go 20 years boxing. Very rarely is, the, is that the case and does that happen. That's very rare. And Foreman was one of those. So, big ups to Foreman. And now he's doing his own grill. I'm going to oh, mention that. Along with my yeah, look at that. Now, how is that looking like George team. Foreman? Come on. All right, so, Ed Eddington, 28 wins, 28 by way of knockout. His opponent, the mighty George Foreman. Who looks very, very white. Foreman, 76 wins. 68 by way of knockout. If we're going to get knocked out by anyone, it's going to be George Foreman. This is going to be a scary, scary fight. Foreman, 700 health. So if he's got a weakness, his health is low. But he packs a punch with his shots. He was also quite quick for some reason at the moment. But he's nervous. And Eddington able to get in under Foreman's skin. At the start of the match, Foreman already reeling, but getting a hit in on Eddington. Oh, and another hit from Foreman. Left by Foreman. Foreman with some big shots there. Big shots from Foreman. Foreman had two big shots, and now, now, he, now he's doing nothing again. He's letting Eddington hit him. Eddington stumbling back to hit him again. Foreman on the ropes. There's nothing he can do when he's on the ropes. He tries to get out. He tries to get away from Eddington. Get some shots in. But Foreman is doing nothing at the moment. He's defending. He has gotten out of the ropes. He is, no, he's back in the ropes again. He's got himself back in trouble. And now, the uppercut frenzy from Ed Eddington. We've seen this knockout people before. TKO people before. The uppercut frenzy from Ed Eddington. And the referee has stopped it. Already. Quickly. One minute 14 in, George Foreman TKO'd. Yes. Oh, that was the match I was scared of. I was scared of Foreman. Oh, so happy we did so well. So happy we did well against George Foreman. Anyway, so with that out of the way, a big win over George Foreman. Now, we are battling... Archie Moore, current rank number four. He's next. He is next on the bucket list, you could say. This is a very nasty looking bucket list. All right, so cut self is going well. It's nearly done. Cut self is nearly at 99 uh, or 999. Which means there's not much left to go after that, really. It's just really cut, um, it's just really knocked down. We've already done knockdown, haven't we? Uh, knockout. Uh, and defense after that, really. I believe. But I'm not going to be really needing much defense, but I might as well increase it if I've got nothing else to increase. Actually, no, I might as well increase my punch, actually. So with punch, you can increase specific punch attacks. Which is very useful. Very, very useful. So I can increase jab if I want to straight, left cross, right cross, up, you know. Pretty much all this stuff I can, I can increase. This is very useful. Alright, knockdown, I think, is next. Using the medicine ball. Alright, so we're, we're, we're training for our battle against Archie Moore. Uh, current rank number four in the heavyweight division. I'm thinking this game was supposed to be sort of like a boxing all-stars. You know, you got like the, the best boxers in history, you know. But there are two heavyweights that are missing from the list. One is, obviously, Mike Tyson. The other is Muhammad Ali. Where the bloody hell is Ali in this game? They put Rocky Marciano in and Joe Lewis, but not Muhammad Ali? That makes literally no sense. 
I do have a lot. I'm much, I do like this game, but I do have a lot of gripes with it. And one of them is the fact of they put some people in, but not others. I don't get it. Anyway, so yeah, I know, George. You're you're gonna be upset with me. We I beat you. I'm sorry. Anyway, so with the victory over George Foreman out the way, and he's gonna be he's gonna be upset with us for a while. Stop looking at me like that. It's not my fault you lost. Ass. All right, so we're gonna carry on. Um. With our next battle against Archie Moore, once George Foreman finally gets out of the way, we'll be fighting Archie Moore on pay-per-view. Rank number four contest here, Ellington. 29 wins, one loss, 29 wins by way of knockout. None of his matches have gone the distance, and the furthest he's gone is round three. Since he was defeated by Ken Norton, he has defeated every one of his opponents in the first round. Archie Moore. 183 victories. This is going to be a big match. This guy knows how to win matches. But does he know how to lose them? If so, we have to teach him that. So Archie Moore. Oh, big uppercut from Archie Moore. More blocking here. But there's a big hit from Ennington to get Archie Moore in trouble. And another uppercut. Followed by a third. Followed by third and missed the fourth there. There's the four, knocking Moore onto the ropes. And Moore is in trouble here. In very big problems is Archie Moore. Moore uppercutted again. And Ellington just getting very cocky right now. And I'm not surprised at the fact that Ellington's getting cocky. He's been unstoppable ever since his revenge against Ken Norton and winning the title. Winning the World Championship boxing title. And now here comes... The uppercut frenzy, which has knocked out, TKO'd many opponents. Will Archie Moore go the same way? The uppercut frenzy could be enough to take Archie Moore out. Or will it? The referee is letting the match go. The match is staying on. This has been the longest match for, well, for quite a while with that ending. And now the referee stops it. The referee with another stoppage. Ed Ennington wins 115 of round one. 86 punches thrown. Nice. So Archie Moore, veteran of over 100 career victories, defeated by a man with a mohawk and a moustache. Just think about the way, they're all getting beaten by a guy with a mohawk and a moustache. It's hilarious. All right, more money. Our next fight is going to be against... Not Larry Holmes. Not Rocky Marciano. It's Joe Lewis, ranked number two at the moment. He's going to be one tough cookie. So hit me with your best shot. Right, so I'm going to do this training and then I'm going to go for a break. So at the moment, we're going to be increasing knockdown just in case, obviously, we get knocked down. I can't even remember which does what between knockdown and knockout. Knockdown might increase the rate of... I know they one increases the rate... Of how you can uh, either, I think, either get up from a knockdown or just getting knocked down in general. And the other um, is if you knock down your opponent, the frequency of uh, the frequency of how often you knock down your opponent, or how often they're going to get back up from the shot. So either way, they're both going up to full. So I'm not going to be going down often at all, and I'm going to be doing loads of damage. And I'm going to be knocking opponents down. And if they get back up, I'm going to be damaging them as well. He's already up to 700 knockdown. Could probably get that to 800. Yeah, it should, it should get to 800, I think. Yeah, that's a good start. Nice 20-odd. Another 20-odd. Nice. Definitely going to get to 800. Nope, definitely going to get to 800. You can't stop it. There you go, 802. And we still got one more to go, so that's going to go to about 820. 826, alright. Oh, did not mean to click the fight button. Never mind. I was supposed to end the part there, but no, no, I messed up. So you guys are going to get an elongated part. What is this, 8? Eight? 8th part, I think? You're going to get an elongated 8th part, it looks like. 
George Foreman's still looking quite pissed off at us. It's not our fault, damn it. Alright, so we might as well start this fight. We might as well punch a guy in the face. Literally, it's Joe Lewis, who is a... Uh, well, very good boxer from his, from his time. Anyway, so... Ed Eddington, 30 victories, 30 knockouts, 1 defeat. That defeat has been avenged. Current rank number 4 in the world. His opponent, Joe Lewis. 68 wins, 54 by knockout. This is going to be a big match environment here for both competitors. Who is going to win it? And who will go to number... Th if Eddington wins, he'll go to number three. If Joe Lewis wins, he's got to be in with a title shot with Mar Rocky Marciano. And Lewis straight away takes a punch to the face. And another one there. Big uppercut to the face. And another. And Lewis on the ropes already. And we've seen Eddington do this before. Multiple times. Pretty much with every opponent. Uppercutting them into the corners. Into problem. Into a big error. And Lewis is going to be no different, it looks like, in this case. Lewis taking shots here. And Eddington just pummeling in to Joe Lewis. Who is desperately trying to find a way out. He is blocking as much as he can. Just trying to stay in. He is blocking a lot, is Joe Lewis. Trying to stay in this match. Trying to stay in as long as he can. Maybe if he weathers the storm, he can fight back and win. This match has gone for longer than a minute. Maybe it will go to round two. Depends on how things go. Joe Lewis is out of the corner. But he's got himself back into the corner. What a bloody idiot. He's back in the corner again. And now it comes the uppercuts. Not even invincible yet. But there was the uppercuts. The slight uppercut. Lewis blocking a lot there. Lewis in serious danger here. He's still in the corner. Taking hits. He can't block them all. But he's got a shot in. He got a combination shot in. That might have just pissed Eddington off. Oh, and the referee stops the fight. The referee has stopped the fight. It is game over. And Ed Eddington, the winner. 133 into round one by TKO. All right. Well, big, big win. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to do for a break here. But the next episode and the final episode, Let's Play HBO Boxing, we will take out... Rocky Marciano. And we will take out the other guy that I completely forgot his name of. Anyway, and become the world champion! I'll see you then.